So as miraculous as it may sound, there is a pill that can prevent HIV infection. It consists of two antiretroviral ingredients called tenofovir and imtricitabine. These are actually the same type of medicines that people with HIV use to control the virus in their bodies. So once there is a high enough level of these medicines in someone's vaginal or anal tissue, the medicine is able to shield the immune system cells most of the time from getting infected. Studies have shown that the HIV prevention pill can reduce your risk of getting infected with a virus by more than 90%. But this is directly related to how often and how correctly you take this pill. To get the maximum protection, you need to take the pill once a day at more or less the same time. The HIV prevention pill is more forgiving than oral contraception, for instance, so it doesn't need to be at exactly the same time. There's a few hours leeway. The less often you take this pill, the lower the rate of protection. Research has shown that there are three groups of people who are more vulnerable to getting infected with HIV than the rest of the population. For those three groups, the HIV prevention pill would be particularly useful. And the three groups are men who have sex with men, sex workers, and women and adolescent girls between the ages of 15 and 24. The HIV prevention pill is not supposed to be taken for life. It's supposed to be taken during periods of risk. For instance, if you're a student at university and you know you're going to have multiple sexual partners and not always use a condom, then that is a good time during which to use the HIV prevention pill. But once you're in a stable relationship, the need for it may decline. South Africa was the second country in the world to approve the use of the HIV prevention pill and you can therefore find it freely in the private sector. You can't just go to a chemist and get it, you need a prescription from your doctor but all you need to do is to explain to your doctor that you are going through a period in your life where you would be at particular risk of contracting HIV. In the public sector, it's not available to everyone for free. The government started to roll it out among sex workers in June this year, but it's still looking at the best ways to deliver it among men who have sex with men and young women. No, you can't stop using condoms entirely because the HIV prevention pill only protects you against HIV, not against any other sexually transmitted infections. And the protection against HIV is also not 100%.